Hi, I'm Carter Reader. I'm Austin Trent. I'm Gavin Bly. This is Fantasy Football Talk Week 4. Jerson McCaffrey has tendonitis in both of his um, Achilles. How, how do you think this will impact this team? I think it will impact this team a lot because he is really good. But honestly, Jordan Mason's done really, really good. I think it is just bad as a fantasy owner. I would personally try to get rid of him as soon as possible. Maybe people haven't heard the news because I don't think he's coming back this season. Try yeah. to like trade him away? Yeah. Christian because, McCaffrey? Yeah. Because you can get a high trade. I, I agree with Carter. I don't right. think he's coming back this season. I think you can get it to someone who doesn't know the news yet because it really doesn't seem like he's playing this year. Well, yeah, yeah but why would you trade him away? Because he's not going to play this he's year. he's not going to play. Yeah, but next year he will play. Well, you're not checking. Your fantasy team doesn't go to next year. Oh, you're talking about fantasy. I thought you were yeah. Oh, I got you. Okay. Yeah, I would trade him away too. What we're going to talk about is the Titans and Dolphins game and... That was, a, that was a pretty rough game. Yeah, it was a really terrible. Mm -hmm. Both teams, I think, they had like three picks in total, a couple fumbles. The game ended at halftime. It was like 9-3 mm -hmm. or 9-6. <laughs> it was terrible, though. Yeah. yeah, but also for the Dolphins, their quarterback is out. So, I mean, they can't really do anything about that. No, they're going to be struggling a lot without Tua. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't get the ball. When you can't get the ball to Tyreek and Waddle, that's going to hurt your team a lot. Like like you Titans can, packing their defense. Like you can see how big a quarterback game. makes since Patrick Mahomes isn't playing great this year. And it's like, I know the Chiefs are 4 0, but it's hurting a lot of their. Yeah, they haven't looked yeah. good yet. Mm -hmm. Performances of this week. Someone that I thought was really unexpected. I mean, he's been doing well this season, but not for his entire career was Baker Mayfield. He did really well. He was dotting his teammates up, doing everything on the field. No, yeah, it, was, it wasn't It was unexpected. He's been doing good this season. But he, like you said, it's good to see him do good. I know you're talking about how good he did in Cleveland. He was not that good. And then someone like CeeDee Lamb. CeeDee Lamb did really good. But you expect him to do good. I want to talk about Mike Evans, though. Going with Baker Mayfield, he's doing incredible. Chris Godwin's doing really good. When you get your whole team chemistry like that, you're in a really good We spot. also got to mention Jordan Mason. Like He's been filling in Christian McCaffrey's role very well. And, I mean, Christian McCaffrey actually might just be a system running back. Yeah. It's a hot take. What did he yeah. say? What did he say? He said Christian McCaffrey might be a system running back. Maybe so, then maybe so. But I think Jordan Mason, if you got him on waivers, you're a really lucky person. Happy camper. Derrick Henry, he did great. Their team overall, they just thumped him mm -hmm. from start to end. Thumped him. Yeah, Derrick Henry, I mean, like, I think it was the first try of the game. He had, like, an 80-yard touchdown run. Yeah, he did like everything. That. He had, like, 200 yards at the end of the game. So, he's very, very good day for him. Yeah. And then DeAndre Swift, uh, yeah, I have him on my team. I benched him. So he had thirty, he had like thirty five points. It was really unfortunate. Two touchdowns, a whole bunch of yards. <laughs> but it was really unfortunate. He played so good. He's having like six points every other game. But I think they're gonna they're gonna start implementing it more yeah. into the offense. Yeah, I agree with you, Carter. When they thank you. When they put him in, they did really good. Mm -hmm. uh, another person I want to talk about is uh, Jared Goff. He's eighteen for eighteen with a receiving touchdown and I think two passing touchdowns, I think it was. Yeah, the receiving touchdown. Amon Ross St. Brown threw up a dime, seven yards. It was perfect, yeah. right in the pocket. Yeah. It, it was, was really a crazy good, play, but 18 for 18. I mean, that's not that many passes thrown during a game. I think yeah, they should but, let him throw more passes and not be uh, run heavy. Did you I, I don't No like, other quarterback I mean, throw 18 passes and complete 18 at 18. Yeah, and I mean, respectfully. They won the game by 40, so whatever they, they're doing is, they, they scored 40. They did score. Whatever they're doing, Whatever they're doing, they must be doing it right. No, yeah, so. I think Jared Goff did great. 18 for 18, that's very yeah, that's impressive. stellar. About the bad performances this week, first off, I want to mention Rasheed Rice. I mean, he had a bad performance. He had zero points in fantasy, but it wasn't really his fault. Patrick, it was mostly Patrick Mahomes ran into his knee. But he might have torn his ACL, so mm -hmm. yeah. And Devin A. Chain, I mean, I wouldn't take it like that much because he's been playing well the whole season, so... Yeah, no, I, I would him. take it that much because if you look at his numbers, <laughs> his running back production is garbage. He has not been that good as a running back, but he's like a receiving back. Exactly. He's, he's a receiving back. Passes. But who's their, I don't know who their quarterback yeah. is. Someone garbage. So he's not catching nearly as many passes. When he can't get those air yards, he's not going to do nearly as good. Yeah. I mean, also, Ayuk, there was a bunch of drama with him in the yeah, offseason about bunch. getting trade, and he's traded. This year. Yeah, and he hasn't lived up to expectations. Cam Akers. I personally was a victim of starting him. I saw Joe Mixon's not playing. I was like, oh, yeah, he's the guy. He was not the guy with the five <laughs> points. That was very, very Also, uh, Steele, he's been I – th I know he's splitting time since Pacheco's out. But, I mean, I wasn't expecting him to do good, but a lot of people were. I was. He was – He, was he really negative points. Really bad. Negative <laughs> points. Negative point four. So negative that was really unfortunate. Negative aura. 
they and then more. Brees Hall and Saquon, they, they had a collectively terrible game. Brees Hall, that game was just sloppy. There was like, they lost to the Broncos. The Broncos had 63 yeah. air yards. So it was just a sloppy game. Mm -hmm. But having like a point is wild. Yeah. And then yeah. Saquon, their squad as a whole just looked bad. They got thumped. Yeah, they haven't looked what we expected them to look. We thought they were going to be like... No, I didn't. I didn't. I was never high in that. I, I thought they were going to be like the best offense in the league. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I thought that too because they have Jalen Hurts. Saquon. Um, yeah, Saquon. Devontae, Devontae Smith. Smith yeah. I and think Jay Saquon's going to bounce and back. And their third though. receiver is Jahan Dotson. Yeah, Saquon's they, done an incredible all season. I think he'll bounce back. Yeah. Let's get to the injury report. Mm -hmm. First off, we have Anthony Richardson. I mean, I feel, feel like he's going to get hurt and have to retire because... Every single year he's gotten hurt just because he's a Yo, running he's, back. He's a he's a this is his second year. Yeah, he's, he's got hurt both years. Yeah, so he's gonna have to no, retire. No, he's not that hurt. He's gonna be fine. He was he's on the going, sideline. Going to retiring is a very big jump. <laughs> I think he's gonna play next week, but it's a little bit of a struggle because I would honestly bench him though. He's been doing I benched terrible. him, but this week he's been doing so bad, and the injury is definitely gonna mm -hmm. decrease his production because he's gonna get no runs. Yeah. Then Will Levis. He just looked terrible. He got hurt. I don't know what happened, but I think it. I don't even know if he got hurt that bad or if they just wanted to bench him. I think. I think. I mean, he has not played well the whole year, and if the Titans really want to like compete this year, I think they gotta make a trade but for yeah. somebody who's at least decent. I forget who the backup is, but he played a lot better than Will Levis. Yeah. Yeah, and now we're on. Let, to let's let's Rice. Rasheed Rice. Rasheed Rice. He, oh yeah, I forgot about Mahomes that. Mahomes jumped at him. Mahomes threw a terrible pick, mm -hmm. and he took battle on his own teammate. Jumped right on his legs. Rasheed Rice's knee inverted. It caved in. He tore his ACL. He's out for the season. I guarantee it. Yeah. It's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. All right, now we're on who you should trade for in your fantasy league. Carter, you're up. So I was first to start off with Saquon and Brees Hall. Not much more explanation. Great running backs. Probably the two best running backs in the league. Yeah, even though the Eagles had a kind of a down game, he's been playing well the whole year. So. Yeah. And then same thing with uh, James Cook. He's done really good. And the Bills team has looked really good until they got stopped by the Ravens yeah. D. But I think it'll be fine. Mm. All right, now we're on who you should trade away. Um, Carter thinks you should trade away Malik Neighbors, which I have. I do. No, I do. No, I, I disagree. Yeah, with I know. That I was gonna well. hate for that. Not no, and I respect it. He might be a top. He's probably a top five wide receiver in the league. I'm gonna say that. But the way they're using him, they're. Daniel Jones is such a terrible decision maker. He's leading him into suicide passes. He already has a concussion. He's just, the production is going to go down and down and down because he's forcing him passes and he's going to get hurt. His, also, like, you know, when you're playing some college football 25, you got like the risk of injury. His whole body's red. He's going to get destroyed. And Devin A. Chain, I mean, I can kind of understand why you'd want to turn him away. He's not the best running back, he's more of a receiving back. And now that they don't have a good quarterback, I think he'll struggle because he won't get, get as many passes. No, yeah, I think he's really good. But I think it's with bad quarterback, he's not going to get as many passes. And the defense are going to be packing in on him. Yeah, so he's not going to get nearly he, as many they, yards. They know what he likes to do. Yeah. yeah. And I think he's traded away Justin Steele. I know you're probably not going to get much out of him. If you can't trade him away, just dump him. Because yeah. Kareem Hunt is going to make way bigger of a yeah, difference. Mean, Kareem... I don't think he was in on their – was he with training camp with them? Uh, I don't even know. He's on the practice squad. They just brought him up. Yeah, I mean, even though he, he missed training camp, his first game he didn't look that bad considering he missed all of training camp. So. Yeah. And then Zamir White just dumped him. I had high hopes on him, and the the wheels of the wagon fell off. Yeah. I don't – the steam is gone. I don't think he's going to be very good. Yeah. And what were we going to say about the Browns? What are your take on the Browns and Amari Cooper, the um, situation with there? I mean – I, there's rumors that Amari Cooper is going to be traded to the Chiefs because, I mean, Rasheed, Rasheed Rice is most likely out for the year. And Xavier Woodley really sucks. He's not that good. Yeah. He's fast. <laughs> Runs straight. Yeah. <laughs> not that good, though. And, yeah, that would really hurt your team. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah, I, I like the trade, but I don't know if they're going to be able to execute it because. What, well, what's the trade? They're going to trade Rasheed Rice for. I don't know. Amari I Cooper. Know. That's, a, that's a rumor. The, that's their number one guy, but they're also looking to get people on. Like, not Devontae Smith, uh, Devontae Adams. Uh, so people like that. I think Devontae Adams is a little too good for them. Yeah. I don't think they can really trade yeah. for him. But Amari Cooper, I don't know what they would give them, but it'd be really unfortunate for the yeah, Browns. I mean, the Browns, I feel, I, I'm a Browns fan, so I'd be kind of mad if they traded him away, but I would not really want to trade him for, for anything less than, like, a second-round pick. Like, I mean, even though he's probably not worth that, I just, like, we need receivers. Yeah, we need everything. Yeah. Not everything. Maybe if Nate Chubb comes back healthy. 
and all right. everything. Mm -hmm. That concludes our um, week four fantasy football talk. See you next week. Thank you for listening. <laughs>